Sauter makes a good run off turn two and gets a hold to the back of Kurt Busch. They'll fly by Nelson Piquet Jr. Up the racetrack, contact made, one and two, Nelson Piquet goes sideways. Nelson Piquet Jr. got up the racetrack, hit the 18, that brings the caution out again. And now watch, he's gonna have to chase that truck up the hill as he gets sideways. Look at Jason White had the same thing happen. You see truck going, trucks going by him. Nelson didn't let off. When he made contact with Kurt, the thing went around. <laughs> what about the job he does just keeping it going in the right direction once he spins out? They pitted for their last set of tires on lap 57. They have options here, and he's already all the way up to 10th. Right now, I think the 30 is in the catbird seat. Strategy going to play out. The 30 is going to try to stay out and not come to pit road. Here's what they had to say on the radio. You know how to do this. How big is the lead? I'll tell you when the second place car is at start finish line. It's a big lead. Do not step on the gas in the corners. Roll through the corners. Yeah, he's he needs to slow down more, Phil. He's got 14 seconds of a lead, and he just needs to make it two laps. I'd slow way down as long as I got enough gas to make it to the finish. Then he. Well, he slowed down, that's for sure. And right now, he comes out of turn number four. This time by, he's going to see the white flag. One more time around Michigan International Speedway. Two miles. Does he have enough fuel? Coming out of turn number four. Does he have enough fuel to make it in front of Jason White? Coming to the checkered flag. It's Nelson P.K. Jr. winning at Michigan.